Salve galera de boa, só que está fortalecendo o canal novamente e está com novidades incríveis para vocês. Mais códigos para vocês tentarem a sorte e conseguirem tentar retirar skin de graça. Não esqueça de utilizar os três códigos da descrição e aproveitar o site completo. Muitas skins de CSGO e variados jogos diferentes para vocês ganharem. Caso não tenha certo item, você pode fazer a troca no próprio site e resgatá-lo, ou também vender se caso queira. Tem vários modos de pagamento e depósito. Você sendo o prêmio no site também, rapaziada, você terá diversos benefícios e mais vantagens. Soma Case, primeiro link na descrição. Factors to get a result under their way. Fast rushing towards the upper side. Tees look to go and a ram stack to come through for the CTs. Flamesy to start off with the opening pair. Frag found Brookie there with a very quick trade back to a four on four though. So even standing for the retake and he continues tapping heads. Looks for Flamesy but the new blood can strike. Rain turns it back around. Lexi B swings back into the backstab and now it's all on Valde in a one on three scenario. Kit needs to get to the site. There's tapping on the bomb sticking it for the full 10 seconds. Actually, Valde switching position because they don't really have the nades to get them in the right position. Twist swinging out quite wide from the main position. At least brings it back to a three on three. And Flamesy aggressive in from Hut gets that one on one trade. Warp Spam actually coming through onto Flamesy, but now Twist is the last one left. Yet to try and see if he can clutch for the CT side. Running out of time, needs to try and get these kills in pretty quickly. Getting on top of HUD. Flash coming in for the T side to peek with it. They've seen where Twist is. Sees the first player getting back into the hard position of Flamesy, just trying to waste some time. And up an angle, another quick player towards the upper side. Flashes in over the top. Nico struggling to find that first kill, but Valde's going to help him. Trades come back and forth. Twist now pushing through the main smoke. Lots of chaos for the CTs. Carrigan's been able to actually get a kill, but not drop that bomb and Brocky they don't know about him towards events. Oh, swings back, gets the kill on the bomb plant and Nico gets it down in time though. 2v2 and most of the onus are going to rest on Volde. Alexi B is on five points of health, should be dead to rights pretty instantly. And as his teammate goes down, he's got a MAC-10 and nothing to work with. Three open, that's where everyone from OG is going to pour out from. And Carrigan gets a kill as a result. Flamesy falls, Alexi B not expecting twist. That frag's pretty easy. The AWP of Mantu tries to fire back, but he's one of two players left in and just getting worn down, pushed away. The bomb's been dropped to CT control and 13 seconds left to try and maintain this round. They find that trade on Rain, but this round doesn't go the way at the T-side. Uh, they're just hoping to save, hope that the hunt doesn't come through. Cold Zero can try and get into that vent position. And On the run, they throw. Damage done quite significantly. The AUG spray lines up a kill, almost gets that second broke. He's there to drop the bomb, and Carrigan turns the USP on Valde. So, two left standing for OG as they run into the meat grinder. Mantu can't even extend so far as to grab that bomb. Nico's going to be the last player left, known towards the outside, a 1v5 and phase. When they look good, they look recamp, which has done a little bit of damage to Volta to start things off, but OG have the definitively better buy. Carrigan hoping to turn that around with a man advantage instead for the CT side. Alexi V gets rain to start things off, but Carrigan trades it. Smokes will go down. Cold Zero turns his D1 on Alexi. So now, he do have the man advantage, but the bomb goes down on B site. Uh, Twist would have heard that player out from Secret, so that's information that could be relayed over that there is a lurk coming through from the T-side. A Carrigan's been able to get up towards the rafters. Twist now finding Flamesy, and Valde should be seen. Mantu now in a one versus four with this AWP out towards decontamination, and he's already been smoked. They could just stick this defuse. There should be no way in which the AWP could find anything. Maybe try and go for some more bank shots. Oh. Molly trying to come through. Doesn't quite happen. It gets distinguished by the smoke, and they... Yeah, they're just hoping to get this bomb plan out. Fast play out towards the double doors. Nice shot coming through from Alexi B. And Brokey just has to fall back. He can't afford to keep refacing. And the T's want to try and take the fight towards ramp. Well, on four scenario, at least OG got that plant in. So they've got themselves a little bit extra going into the real gun rounds. The M4 a twist struggling alongside Rain to get the kill. Volde picks up aggressive, gets twist to fall, but him and Mantu fall in turn. All left to Alexi, picking up one of the AKs. I think the one that was dropped by Carrigan earlier. Two tagged up players, but it's not the most impossible to our site hold. First frag found, took back to the second. Ooh, jumping out of the way and getting back to the winner position. He's got to get the face on Brocky now. He's got to get the kill in the midst of the smog. He sprays, but ahead too late. Yeah, they're waiting for the CTs to make another mistake. That was proper slow walking aggressive to come in from OG. And Rain is just waiting for them to do the exact same thing once again. Smoke's now going down towards a heaven position. Flash over the top. Rain looking to try and take a flight out towards a ramp. Valde gets a pick back, but it's still a man advantage. Now make it two for the T's. Valde and Mantu. Going out of dodge. 
Set themselves up on the set, uh, site defensive here towards A. You've got one player up in heaven in Valde. Mansu waiting for his opportunity here in mini. Seen by Carrigan. Taps up with the Glocks. Bomb plant will be attempted and secured. Valde looks for his taps, gets that first shot, needs a second kill, runs out of ammo against Reina, two HP. He barely gets out of dodge, barely holds himself together. And the retake continues in a 2v2 scenario phase. Having to rotate back through the squeaky area. Valde realizes what might be going on. The vent's popped up. Back on the bomb, they tap it, looking for rain, can't land that kill shot, man too desperate to do so, taps it a second time, gets that frag, looks for cold zero, and they hold it together, but 10 seconds, they face on this one, there's a lot of stock put in this round for them, and for OG, it could be the chance to catch up definitively, Alexi B takes his SMG, deals with the first player, man too takes damage, but his M4 finds rain elsewhere, two frags untraded, and they struggle to get Alexi Carrigan tagged to three points of health, but finally one trade is found. Uh, they've got to get in towards ramp, but even for Brokey, oh, gets a very good audio cue of Flamesy diving in towards that ramp position, trying to get back down towards lower, be able to have a bit of a defensive hold with his teammate who is coming through from Mantu. And for FaZe Clan, they've got a little bit of time to work with now. They don't have to commit to the lower bomb site. They're thinking about it. Nico is going to adjust for it. AK will wrap forward, looking into the mini area. There is a UMP to deal with him. Carrigan's got such low HP that it might still lead to his death. He catches Volde and Molotov into him, forcing that player forward. He's isolating the damage, actually. Carrigan's forced to fight. Flamesy now back in the B site, meanwhile. If he gets Brocky to fall, then that could be the way in. Nico gets his frag in the end, and the bomb does get dropped. So all have to call zero. One versus four. Mantu. Swift. They want to deal with Ramp, but they've got to deal with Mantu. Good shot from him. Finds Cold Zero, flashes his way back out. Nico spraying on towards Twix as well. Looking to double up against Brokey. That's not going to be as successful. And Rain tries to lead the charge to back up the bomb at Carrier. Orp seen flat, uh, trying to face forward. It's flamesy in the back lines that catches both faces. It's credit card or that garage area. And even an aggressive play trying to come through from the squeak door. Brokey and Cold Zero now fighting picks. Flamesy finds a response out from Ramp, but it might be too late. Especially as Volde goes down. Responsive frags unable to be found. One on four for Flamesy. And once again, OG with the flyer of a start at the start of the half. Is that going to fall apart now that FaZe have got their first on the board? Flamesy's going to give his best shot at the retake. But Reigns immediately there. Wait here for any sort of ramp control. FaZe are going to run this clock low. If they make one misread, that could be enough. For OG to steal it. Twist has made his way downstairs. Molotov's in. Gonna make his way back up. Nico hearing it. And Twist still lands the frag. Opens up the A site. Retakes now on. But Alexi B turns it to 3v3. Oh, Molly's gonna try and come through. Oh, the AWP only lands a tag. That could have been the chance of the bomb being denied, but not to be. OG now in the 3v3. Alexi B coming in from a teammate. They're gonna boost up to look over towards Hart. Can't see anything though. Not in the corner, not in the center of the site. Rain waiting, Mantu finally takes Twist down. Brokey and Rain, very tagged up across the T side line. The same can be said for OG though. AK ready for the headshots, Flames, he gets that kill. Brokey on the corner and Flames. Lined up towards a ramp entrance, but they've got to deal with the players in on the site. That's Flamesy out towards the dark and Alexi on the railings. Lexi gets that kill, drops that bomb, looking for the second player, Flamesy gets dropped in upon by Carrigan, Twist finds the response and doubles up against the Orpa. Nico swings back from double doors though, two frags to his name, and Twist's alone on the rafters, being caught off, Valde starts his swing. And now they're going to be forced in towards this ramp position, Flamesy can't find anything, no one checks, Mantu's position, two kills, and a body shot onto the third, and Nico's in the back lines, but he's missed his timing, and now FaZe are going in towards lower, but they've got to deal with Alexi B. And Brokey's now the last one left in to try and clutch it. 1v3 now make it a 1v2. He wants to try and take a fight out towards the ramp players, but he's got to get the bomb down. 14 HP is going to make his way back up into the A bomb site instead. And the CTs probably read this, they probably heard it. Plant will just come through at the hot position, or at least he taps it. Trying to force them out of heaven. Voldate seeing him, wrapping slowly. Bomb will be attempted a second time. 
Trying to wrap around as Nico waits back. The AK behind the silos. Utility pulled out at the worst moment. Valde bells him out. He gets the swing on Rain as a result. Brokey seen him, but didn't call it out. Alexi now suppressed as Nico gets even more frags. Makes it a triple in the end. Twists all alone. A one on three scenario as Max. Here we go. Pistol round. OG again on the CT basis. The fuse kit for Alexi B. The flashbangs. I think he had two of them in play. It's flamesy, however, that draws first blood on the A site. Kill found on Twists. Rain gets the trade bomb plot. Gets secured. Uh, retake mode underway for the OG side and for FaZe, they're looking to actually try and press quite aggressively out towards ZT Sport. Bands are having a difficult time finding that trade back, but does find the tap onto Brokey, and now this opens up the line in towards the side. Late Lurk coming out from the wrap position, unknown at this point. Mantu having a massive round, three kills all together, looking for the Quadra. Cold Zero only finds one onto the side. They get onto that bomb, get it defused, and for FaZe Clan, they wanted to try and take CT control. Currently leaning into what's supposed to be a big split, but only one player will split in from short. The other three will make their way up from a apartments Carrigan gets dealt with as a result. Nico, one isolated frag, no trade potential. Cold Zero will actually get the Deagle on Valde. That's pretty impressive for his own right. He can secure a bomb plant from here. They just have to extend it out. And it is burning on Twist's part. Back behind truck, 37 HP, but now they have site access. Uh, just try and get that bomb down, get that extra little bit of money forward. The bomb's been chucked away from that bank, oh, the bench position, over towards the site. Nico now coming in from short, Cold Zero getting another kill into the round, looking to try and follow up, but the CTs are here in numbers, out towards market, and Cold Zero only on 15 points of health, should have no real right of being able to get back involved into this round. Mantu with the AWP gets involved himself. Left. Nades up, Flamesy moving in, sees two, catches the spray, but doesn't get the kill. Just damage to Twist and Rain. Mantu can finish the job on Twist. Nico back at Dark deals with a player coming in from the jungle area. Brokey with the AWP and Rain with the AK deals with Mantu and Nico. The A site's defensive's cleared out, but rotations are inbound. Alexi gets that frag on a bomb carrier. Rain tapping it, swing back, kill comes through. He'll just have time to secure it, but a one on one against Valde now. And Molly out towards triple, but Val so easily in the 2 0. This is looking more better than any one of those maps for OG ever did. Fast execute coming in towards the A site. They have got Flamesy to find the only real player on the site itself. Alexi B can swing back from connect the jungle and respond to it. Blind shots to Mantu with the AWP not quite connecting. The bomb plant can be secured. Alexi lines up two. I believe he got one through the boxes as well on twists. And that leaves Carrigan and Cold Zero. The last couple of players left. Cold Zero does get his Deagle in involved on one frag. Not the second, though. And Carrigan finally gets his first pick in this map. But he's in a 1v3 clutch. Still no rifle. Does force Mantu to make a mistake on that AWP shot. Dinks down Nico, but doesn't get. Mantu is thinking of rotating back at the CT stairs. He opts not to do so. And that almost goes to his favor. The flick doesn't land. Carrigan's back turn here at bench. Twists will finally get the AWP at the four. The M4 boosting up a ticket booth. Gets his one frag. Alexa and Nico get trades now Nico all that remains the bomb's been dropped in the open he's seen one rifle back a danger flashbang turned away from sees that individual crossing needs to catch Cold Zero that window opportunity brought back to allow Cold the bomb plant Nico kit in play no util just gotta take the fights and win them and slowly he moves forward Cold watching the stairs expecting to go there but Brookie Alice looking like they want a quick exit into the A play Perhaps. Or oh, SMG flashes going through. Spray back. There's Twist with the fry. Man 2 trying to hold back with the AWP. Good flip on the first player. Turns around for the second, but couldn't hold himself together. Twists. Trades it two for one. Bomb site secured. They're going to try and contest it. Alexi again forcing forward at the smoke, but he pays the price for it. Uh, Face plan. This is much better from them. Just the site exit coming through. The palace dive out. Three players with the bomb and just more fights continuing to go their way. Brokey getting over aggressive. Nico's got a chance to pick it up the AK, but does he really want to try and go for this? Money is going to be a real big issue going into round 15. Twist is able to spot the player, get the third round up for Fancy. Volde and Flamesy out the gate. Flashbangs over. Mac 10's making their way in. Carrigan gets his response frag on Twist. Death, he gets the shot on Volde as well. Can't make it a third, but that's where Brokey comes in. Dealing with Nico, and that bomb is in full CT control from here. The T's can't make their way out of apps, especially as Mantu's completely unsupported by Alexi B. Yeah, this is a horrible position to be in if you're OG. Like, if you had the bomb on your back in this 2v3, you can play the time, you can play the, the rotations, but now you, you just can't. You've got to kind of commit. They're trying to see if they can spot out the lurk play, and for Brokey, he's just the main defender out for B, just gathering info towards the apartments. Scout looking back and forth, expecting there to be a backstab of some sort. No one's there, though. Now they see the utility coming in, knowing that there's two players out here. Brokey's going to get forced back. Damage done to Alexi. 
Still is pretty significant. Bomb can get picked up. The throw key shuts down man two. Alexi's now last man standing. And Ray instead is going to challenge that force. See what's inbound. Seeing that bomb as well. Flash in, second face, doesn't lead to a death just yet. Cold Zero actually picks up Nico instead. Twist deals with one, Volley turns the Glock into a frag. Cold Zero looking left and right and back and forth. An SMG spray, a brokey, desperate. And Cold Zero is there to support him. And will peek out the gap in a smoke. And Ooh. Nico actually is the man to find the what? kill. Double dig. Okay, this just got real interesting. The bomb's gone down already. The T's players aren't even ready to set up the after plumb. But Lexi B is here in Sniper's Nest at the jungle entrance. Twist caught <laughs> off by Flames <laughs> and the Deagles doing damage right here. 2v5. The whole round has fallen apart for FaZe. They didn't even need the Hero AK. They probably could have just got Deagles out for everybody. What a start from Nico. Out from the palace position. Two taps, two kills. And even Flamesy deals with the player in towards Connector. Alexi B seen Carrigan trying to retreat back towards the B side. There's a bit of a lurk coming through from Flamesy. Any damage is great damage from this point on. Can they find one more kill up on this T side? No. It will be Flamesy falling with a bit of mid default now. A bit of aggression coming in from Ramp. And Brokey finds that first pick on. Nico. Great frag. Better response from Flamesy though. No damage done. Cold Zero falling. That'll make their way in towards the B site. Twist has found the man advantage again. Carrigan waiting on the balcony. Does Volde check this as he run out of the window? He gets checked upon. Flamesy, however, sees Carrigan. Makes it a 4v2. It's going to be a very difficult post plan for OG. Retake on for the face side at the man advantage. Twists. Making his way in with the only kit in play. He cannot really afford to go down, so he's going to allow Rain to take point. Looking up in the apartments, looking on the site. Man 2 pressing forward with the orb. The orb be out battle. Brokey falls for it. Flamesy deals with Rain. All on twists. Better be Prime. Sees it a Carrigan. Now sees that one. Does that set them up? The M4 definitely is set up for the kill. Now crossfire lot with it for Master Twist. He gets dealt with Rain. Desperately spraying. Both players blind flames. He can't get a pick back. He's such a HP. Rain getting caught off on the wood stack. And eventually he gets taken back to a two versus two. Mantu gets the AWP pick. And it's all on Carrigan. The CZ and the defuse kit. No Kevlar. No utility. And they know roughly where he's coming from. Mantu going to keep his eyes on the AWP. Does get recovered for the IGL. But this is surely an impossible situation for him. He's got to go for this. There's no other option. Get up close to personal. Try to contain them. Tobin Cold Zero. Will he force forward? Will he fall back? He's still in connector. Now the damage being done. The flashbang, the support though. Alexi still gets the frag. Five on four. Now Carrigan. Solo hold of the B site. Overwhelmed by Flamesy. This is over. Deagles on three players. Two players. Brokey and twists with the most impossible clutch. And OG have done it. 16 to 8 on Mirage. I could have given them the nuke win, but seeing how close that was, I didn't think this second map, I don't think anyone thought this second map would be as one-sided as it's been. But OG are about to knock phase into the lower bracket of the close qualifiers as Twists fight to hold some dignity. But really, it's a map, a series, a match for OG.